So, طيب, there is one to he, to to achieve marad nas that you let's say yes to make the person sick or ahsanta to separate two people that are together or huh yeah to separate two people that are together or huh or or death by the decree of Allah of course by using the jinn or what else to seek to put two person together. To see to, to put two persons together. And this is what is called Al Sihru Al Haqiqi. This is the the the, the Sihr that is yani the actual Sihr where you use the help of the jinn to either kill somebody or to either yani make somebody majnoon as we have read Barakallah Fikum in the, the this 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 book explained by Shaykh Fadr Hafidahullah Ta'ala and to seek yani to make the person sick or crazy or to seek to help to kill the person or to seek to yani put two people together or to separate two people right to seek to put two people together or to seek to put to yani to separate two people let's say a person he loved this woman but the woman is saying no to him so he go to the magician and the magician will you know do some certain things give him like a lock and he will lock the eyes and the heart of the woman to this man. He don't see nobody, he don't love nobody but this man. Tayyip. Or when you have two persons together, husband and wife, Tayyip, somebody else want to destroy the marriage and they go to the Sahir and they will do what? They will barakallah fikum invoke the help of the jinn and they will separate them. Now the jinn will be either in the man or in the woman and the, ma the, jinn, the person will be not, will never stand the wife. Or the wife will never stand the, the husband anymore. So if this is the sir, the sihr that is the real actual sihr. Now, so he mentioned here the second one is now. And the person won't know. Sometimes does. Sometimes does. But alhamdulillah, this is your shirk. Yes, it exists. But the person of tawheed, he is nowhere to be. You know what I'm saying? Even having his mind in these issues. Alhamdulillah. The person he pray his salawat. He make his adhkar. He doesn't have his mind in these issues of magic and stuff like this. And this da'wah is not established upon magic neither. You understand what I'm saying? This da'wah is not established upon magic. Tayyip, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes, he cried. But this was not something that it was his major call. It's not. No, honestly, haqiqatan. You don't have none of the ulama that have, sp and this is something that Shaykh Rabbi has advised. And I'm saying this. This is Shaykh Rabbi, he advised that no one should be known of doing these things. No one it should not be known of doing these things. Meaning it's not something that you will do and do it as a profession. And nobody should be known of doing this. Or even having like a, what you call it, a business card. Or you know what I'm saying, or you people will call it all over the world. Wallahi, this is not safe. And you don't have none of the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah that taking this path. Or making this route of calling to, 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 to the way. No, if, you, if these things you call on this, Barakallah Fikum, you will have many people come and they will not. It's not about the da'wah. It's about fear. They fear, oh, I have sihr in me, or oh, somebody is this and this. Wallahi, okay, this issues. A person, alhamdulillah, could get cured by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the asal of it is that the individual he do his own ruqya it's the asal of it that you do your own ruqya by way of reciting the quran by way of establishing the salah by way of asking allah supplicating to allah by way of alhamdulillah by way of staying away from the from the sins wallah and this is not a, a, a issue whereas the individual will make this as a mean of da'wah a call because now the people they will they will not they will not know the difference. They will take you out of someone that is that knows the ghayb. And you got to be careful about this. You can't openly bluntly say that this is a jinn. Ah, this is a, from the matters of the unseen. You can't say, well, this individual, oh, you're affected by a jinn. No, you can't say this. Because that's from the matters of, have you seen the jinn? No, yes, you can have, this could be the effect of but not to say that you afflicted by a jinn. So therefore, this issue of yani sihr, yes, you clarify the issue, we clarify where is the need, but it is an aspect of you know, da'wah that a person has to be known of. 
Seriously, this is not safe at all. You don't find none of the scholars that have this, like, this is what they known of. For <coughs> yep. Yes, you find some of them, alhamdulillah, when there is an issue and they write there, they will whatever, recite or stuff like that. Or they will even assign somebody or go, recite or whatever the case might be. But it's not like something that an individual will take as, you know, a profession or and to be known of doing this. Ya Rabbi Hafizahullah, he, he, he advised one of his actually called colleagues and tell him that stay away from this. And by the time that you know the individual, he was, he was, he was out. He was out, subhanAllah al-Azim. He was out and doing his own things. He's putting his own stuff. I mean, saying this oil is good for this, that oil is good for this, this, this. Come on, man. So he mentioned the qil. He was saying to the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمَا هُنَّ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ What are those? What are those? سَبْعَةُ مُبِقَاتِ فَقَالَ And the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, أَشِّرْكُ بِاللَّهِ Ascribe in partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَالسِّحَر And doing that which is sihr. Doing what is called sihr. Why is it called sihr? Why is it called sihr? Naam, Mustafa. Ahsanta, very good. What is covered, very good. Tayyip. And also the part of the name, the, the, the last part of the night where it is dark. Tayyip. Ahsanta. <coughs> and likewise, another, something that is covered, something that is secret and the like, right? So this is where the origin of the word Ahsanta. Barakallah. So he mentioned here, and sihr, and likewise, Qatlu nafs allati harrama Allahu illa bil and killing the soul except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram illa bil haq except that which is do right but now who is the one to determine what is the soul that is do right to kill it is only by way of the of the scholars the ulama nobody else it's by way of the scholars and he said, akhir and to the end of those seven as we mentioned it previously inshallah ta'ala bada'aha bi shirk so here the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked your father and say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he started or the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started enumerating it with the issue of shirk the issues of shirk he say فَدَلَّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الشِّرْكُ هُوَ أَعْذَمُ الذُّنُوبِ this is a proof that the worst of the, of the, of, of the sins the, I need the worst of the sins is what? it is to ascribe partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he say وَلِذَلِكَ الْمُشْرِكْ لَا يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ أَبَدًا And this is why the, the mushrik, the person that commits shirk, he will never ever enter the jannah. The person that enter the shirk will never ever enter the jannah. But understand this, that it means the person that died with tayyib shirk and did not repent to it. But Amma, the person that once committed shirk and he repent to Allah, وَمَنْ تَابَ تَابَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ That whoever repents, yani repent, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him. So yeah, but here it means that the person that die in the state of kufr, in the state of shirk, that he is not to be entering the paradise. He say, لَا يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ أَبَدًا He will never enter the jannah. Never. And here this abadan here it means what? It means forever. Because abadan could mean what? Could be for a long period of time. Abadan could mean for a long period of time. But here it is abadan, it means abad al abidin, forever. Forever. No stop. Whatsoever. So he mentioned here, Qala Allah Ta'ala, as Allah the Most High mentioned, and this is Surah Al Ma'idah, verse number 72. قال الله تعالى إنه من يشرك بالله سورة المائدة verse number 676 72 المائدة 72 سورة المائدة verse number 72 قال الله تبارك وتعالى he say إنه من يشرك بالله فقد حرم الله عليه الجنة ومأواه النار وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned He say, إِنَّهُ For indeed مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Whoever set up partners 
being worshipped with Allah then Allah has forbidden paradise for him then indeed Allah has said has set up indeed Allah has forbidden paradise for him and the fire will be his abode the fire will be his abode that the fire will be his final abode and the polities the wrong and the evil doers they will not have no help with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Shaykh Fawdan he mentioned Hafizahullah al-Mushrik he said لا يغفر الله له that the person that commits shirk Allah will not forgive him the person that commits shirk طيب meaning he did not repent before he died طيب understood this because if a person was a kafir was a mushrik a kafir he was worshipping Jesus طيب and then he said now today I understand that Islam is the truth and Tawheed yani Allah to worship Allah alone is the truth then I say my shahada this individual Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven him طيب here it means that the person that died in the stage or in the state of kufr in the state of shirk and he did not repent this individual Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive him as Allah the Musa he mentioned in Surah Al-Nisa in Surah Al-Nisa verse number 48 Surah Al-Nisa verse number 48 in Surah Al-Nisa verse number 48 which is the similar almost of the verse that we just mentioned قال الله تبارك وتعالى إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala verily Allah forgives not that partners should be set up with him in worship but he forgives except that anything else to whom he pleases to whom he pleases to whom he pleases فَدَلَّ ذَلِكَ this is the evidence عَلَى تَحْرِيمِ الْجَنَّةِ عَلَى الْمُشْرِكِ so this is the evidence to show that it is haram for the Jannah is haram for the polities this is the evidence that the Jannah is haram for the polities now it doesn't matter what they worship besides Allah as long as they worship something else besides Allah it could be the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after al-Bashar it could be for worshipping Ibrahim Khalilullah it could be worshipping angels Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam it could be worshipping Abdul Qadir al-Jailani rahimahullah it could be worshipping Imam Ahmed rahimahullah it could be worshipping the worst of the creation it could be worshipping Fir'aun it could be worshipping the trees the rocks the animated things and, and the inanimated things ma fihi farq there is no difference no difference whatsoever as we mentioned it is not about what is being worshipped but rather it is about setting up a rival or partner with Allah طيب the ibrah it is not about what you worship but rather here what is the ibrah here is that the fact that the individual worships something besides Allah so he mentioned here فَدَلَّ ذَلِكَ عَلَىٰ تَحْرِيمِ الْجَنَّةِ عَلَىٰ الْمُشْرِكِ so this verse or these two verses that we mentioned in Ma'idah and likewise in Surah Al-Nisa it is a proof to show that the Jannah is haram upon the Mushriks it is haram upon the Mushrik وَأَيْدًا and likewise this verse is a Dalil it is a argument أَنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرَ لَهُ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive them that Allah does not forgive them he say وَدَلَّ هَذَا عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الشِّرْكَ أَعْذَمُ الذُّنُوبِ so this shows that the worst of the sins or the worst of the crime is what? is shirk because Allah does not forgive it and the person that is a mushrik that died upon that will not enter the paradise it is haram for him to enter the paradise he say لِأَنَّ الذُّنُوبِ and this is a very important point I hear ikhwa لِمَاذَا because it is in contradiction with some of the aqaid that is fasidah he say لِأَنَّ الذُّنُوبِ 
ما عدا أش ما عدا الشرك. He said that the sins, as long as there is other than 